Hello everybody and Happy New Year 2021. Uh, I surely hope that the new year will be much better than the one that just went by. We do have a lot of hopes. Uh, one thing I can tell you is that I had a very interesting introduction to the new year because we had here big winter storm coming. Hi Musa, hi Beth. So we got in my area between 7 and 8 inches of snow that actually fell on about a quarter of an inch of ice. So today started finally melting because yesterday the temperatures didn't go above 33 so and then at night we had like 26 degrees so yeah I've been feeling cold for several days now and just to warn you I might have to pick up a tiny floof because I've been trying to work on stuff yesterday and today and uh, I guess he just got so used to me being with him all the time. Hi Sharon, hi Judy, hi Ellen. Being with him all the time that every time I come in here and I start working on stuff, within like 10 minutes he comes and gives me this horribly distressed meow that makes my heart jump. <laughs> because normally normally Finnegan doesn't meow he squeaks pretty much it's a uh, he goes like eh, 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 eh. and uh, he only meows when he's in serious distress like for example being locked in a closet <laughs> it happens uh, but when he sees that I'm not there with him and I don't intend to be there with him and I'm busy on something else. Hi Edith. Oh my goodness, he's becoming so distressed that it scares me. Uh, uh, anyway, so how is he doing? He's doing just great and uh, I'm sorry that I've been out of touch. Hi Elaine. I've been out of touch for the two weeks, the last two weeks of 2020, but unfortunately I had to cater to him all the time uh, because essentially what happened and I tried to explain in the, because I posted uh, a few times in the under the community tab on the channel and in the Facebook page, <coughs> what happened um, as you know, he's been having urinary obstructions. Initially, it was with struvite crystals. That thing got resolved, but then he just kept getting obstructed with uh, protein and epithelial cell plugs and all that. Salud, Jacqueline. Hi, Francis. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Diane. And uh, generally, when male cats do that, there's the uh, three th strikes. I mean, if that happens uh, three times, then they need to have a uh, surgery. Um, because urinary obstruction is a very, very, very dangerous and life-threatening thing for male cats. And because of the way their, their urethra is, the surgery involves practically removing all their male genitals and creating a new urinary opening um, that would be a little bit wider so they wouldn't get plugged up anymore. But, hi Mary, um, but the, the thing is that it is a fairly major surgery. And uh, I had in the first week, hi Shell, in the first week I had to be all, and especially the first three days, I had to be with him all the time. Happy 2021 to you too, Silver. And uh, he had to have warm compresses put on the side. I had to make sure that he's clean every time he went to the bathroom. I had to help him eating and drinking because he was wearing a cone. So, and especially the first three days, he was wearing that rigid cone that uh, the vet gave me. But 
um, I had ordered some uh, soft ones on Amazon they didn't come till Tuesday after the surgery so his surgery was on the 18th of December let me make sure that I'm not saying yeah his surgery was on the 18th of December uh, he stayed overnight at the vet. I went and picked him up on the 19th and on the 21st we went there for follow-up and also because they forgot to take his IV catheter out when he, they released him. And then on the 28th we went and... Excuse me, I have an itchy nose. We went and uh, got his uh, stitches taken out. <laughs> things got much better once his stitches were out i guess they were starting to bother him and uh, he's been pretty good since and uh, now he even started eating i found another kind of food of canned food that he's eating because he's still going to have to be on a on a uh, what you call it on a diet with low phosphate to keep his urine acidic not alkaline to avoid forming any more crystals but my house is still kind of messy because uh, I had to use for about five days conf paper confetti litter and you can imagine that what happens because you know how the paper has a lot of uh, electrostatic stuff and when you have two long-haired cats that are using that they are going to trail it all over the house and i did manage to vacuum the house i didn't want to take the vacuum out uh, not to scare him even more but i did a quick vacuuming uh, monday when i picked him up uh, while he was at the vet because he had to be put under to remove his stitches but there are still quite a few and i swear to you these are so they are like glitter i'm finding them all over the place yes he he eats canned food but his thing is with kibble but he eats a uh, i managed to to find a very good uh excuse me a very good uh brand that is it's not a prescription because he cannot stand uh, the prescription, the hills or the royal cannon. And honestly, I'm not very delighted with those either because in my opinion, hills is the most overpriced crappy food in America. I mean, if you look only at the fact that the first in the first three ingredients, two of them are corn. So Anyway, what he's eating is something that's called Wysong Uretic Formula. And it's a pretty good uh, brand. And I got in touch with their uh, nutritionist. And that is what got him his urine pH to a perfect uh, uh, pH level. And uh, he does eat canned food, but his base is the kibble. He always was a kibble baby. I mean, once he was a, when he was a baby, yeah, he ate mostly canned. But once he got introduced to the kibble, his thing is kibble, and he chows. But he still, what cracks me up is that uh, he had his butt uh, shaved, obviously, because they had to go through all that. And number one. Uh, I call him monkey butt right now and for the ones of you who don't follow him I will show you a couple photos of his monkey butt and uh, the other thing is that because uh, his butt fur is not there anymore he just looks so short let me just a second and I will show you. Okay, so this is on his 
uh, Facebook page. But yeah, you can see this is his shaved butt. And he just looks so short. Look at that. Because he doesn't have all that fur that was making him look uh, bigger. I mean, I told you, you see him as the size of a rel relatively normal cat. But what you see, it's about... The real cat is about one-third of what you see. And here are all his... He was very upset about the cone. Very, very, very upset. But anyway, <laughs> he is doing good. Good now. No. Uh, uh, don't. I don't give them any kind of... The only treats that I give them are... Um, they are called... Uh, pure bites and they are actually just uh, cooked uh, dehydrated uh, meat and um, cookies cats don't really care about cookies cats cannot taste sweet so not really hi Isabel but uh, if you give me a minute, I'm gonna go bring him so you can see how cute he is and how good he is right now. As I said, he is doing very good. He was sleeping in the closet. Yes, 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 yes. And there you go, there's his monkey butt. <laughs> I'm showing you a cat's butt. But yeah. <laughs> okay, you can go sleep again. There you go. Opa. Opa. Yes, yes, monkey butt. Gonna stay here with mama? <coughs> yeah, he is uh, his birthday was October 1st, so he's a little bit more than a year old. And uh, he was so happy when he got rid of that uh, cone because you can imagine he couldn't uh, clean himself. And also, every time he was going to drink water, because he's got the water fountain, the cone would get under the stream of water, so it would get wet. The good thing was that I bought two cones, so I could switch them. But yeah, now uh, this surgery should fix all the problems he had. And he's been in such a so much pain in the last two months it was just horrible but we are getting back on track and he's doing good he is now cleaning himself give me just a second i'm going to try and show him to you and there you go He's right there. <laughs> Let me zoom you on him. What you doing? And there you go. And there he is. He's cleaning. Finnegan. Finnegan. People want to look at you. Vinegar, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What am I should be? You're so precious. <laughs> okay. So, there we go. 
Yes, it's a... Uh, see, the thing is that... Um, Nowadays, about 1 in 20 male cats have this issue or may have it or have it in a more severe or less severe um, form because um, of all the stuff that they put in, in cat food and don't think that the kibble is the one that does it necessarily. Uh, the kibble can do it if the cat doesn't drink enough water. Finnegan drinks a lot of water, but the the one that messed him up was actually the canned food he was eating. But the thing is that cats naturally are predators. And in the last, I don't know, 50 years, uh, the pet food industry developed all kinds of stuff and put a lot more stuff in the cat food than normally a cat would eat. So that changes their pH, the pH of their urine. It's not a matter of kidney. It's strictly a matter of urine pH. Uh, and uh, if the urine pH gets too alkaline, they start forming uh, struvite crystals. So ideally, you want to feed them with something that doesn't have any kind of phosphorus or very low phosphorus, uh, fairly low magnesium, and uh, uh, also that would have, there's a, it's called D-L-methionine, and that helps with uh, dissolving struvite crystals. Older cats can get another type of stones, and those are mostly kidney, not um, bladder, um, and they get that from too much calcium, and those are uh, calcium oxalate, and that is when the urine pH is too acidic. So you kind of want your cat to be uh, cat's urine pH to be between six and six point six at most. But yeah, and we had a lot of issues because when I started him on a diet, he didn't want to eat any of the cat canned food foods I wanted to give him but okay let's get past that uh, so yeah I was able uh, honestly on New Year Eve I didn't do much uh, neither did I do much yesterday until towards uh, the afternoon because we had that winter storm and uh, I did have the power flicker a few times and uh, I wasn't sure if the trees will still uh, be able to withstand another ice storm. And I did hear a few branches crack, but I didn't lose power. The thing was that I didn't want to have to, to work on something and then lose power and lose everything that I worked on. And so... Uh, what kind of tummy troubles? Prescription food shouldn't work in, uh, it has nothing to do with tummy troubles. They just, anytime a, a vet tries to sell me heels, that's usually when I drop the vet. But if he has diarrhea and stuff, then you, you need to do a test and he, you need to give him an antibiotic because usually uh, that means that they ate some spoiled food and they have, um, yeah, pumpkin is great and they have some kind of bacterial infection. And by the way, if you look at uh, talking about pumpkin stuff, give me just a minute to uh, give you the link because I did put in my... Uh, In my um, uh, Amazon influencer store, Finnegan has his own section. And why I want to show you this, it's because... Let me make sure. Not sure if he's going to let me put this long of a... Okay. So if you look at that, you will see that 
uh, there's something for nine dollars that's called pumpkin patch uh, why is that good is because it's got pouches of one serving so you don't have to worry about opening a big um, um, a big can for him you can just open one pouch and have everything that you need and you can see there the, the treats that I get the the guys but uh, generally speaking yeah that's the uh, I forgot to add his food his Y song and uh, and the other thing that he managed to start eating is uh, Weruva uh, canned food it's a little bit more expensive than what he used to eat but obviously it's less expensive than a vet um, and it's in the OMG series that's all my gravy and it's kind of like a crumbled pate in gravy so all three of them eat it because Finnegan's the pate guy and the, the twins are the gravy guys but they all three eat that very good what you doing he's cleaning I woke him up so he started his cleaning routine okay now talking about the um, um, tutorials and work and everything as I said I'm finally starting to be able to edit tutorials and work on stuff it's going to obviously uh, take me a little bit also because I have a clogged main drain so it's gonna be half a day lost probably on Monday because I need to have a plumber plumber come and uh, run an auger through the main drain outside on the patio but um, I need to do a, uh, some cleaning and I need to do quite a bit of things and work on stuff but I'm hopefully nothing else happens you know and I've been very very careful about uh, not getting into contact with people and keeping myself quarantined pretty much um, I got the. I started getting pickup because I cannot always afford to do Instacart. You know, there's quite a bit of extra expense there. Um, but the, the thing is that I have to be very careful. I don't know how it is in your state or in your country, but Oklahoma has. I know that last week it was uh, number one on positivity rate that we are not in a good place we are in a fairly bad uh, place right now because it was uh, we have counties where the um, ICUs and the hospitals are practically over a hundred percent occupancy so a lot of people are getting moved back and forth let me see so right now we are at four percent statewide let me show you So as you can see, for adult ICU, we are at right now, for, from two days ago, we were at 4%. So it's not that that good. And we still have negative flow rooms, but as I said, it depends from county to county. Um, and that means that I need to be very, very careful because as I told you before, um, I have lung issues and uh, I have lung issues from the chemo one of the chemo drugs that I I had to to get uh, can have a side effect uh, lung fibrosis so the top part of my lungs is affected <coughs> that's why you hear when you hear me talking and you hear that I kind of run out of breath that's why um, so yeah I have to be very very careful and uh, I'm pretty worried to go out and walk 
anymore because there's a lot of walkers in my neighborhood and if it's not windy or even if it is you know with the latest discoveries of how long those aerosolized particles can uh, still be in the air for like half an hour to an hour after somebody passed through I don't want to take any any risks and especially with the newest uh, strains so I don't know I have to call my uh, primary care to see if I belong in phase 2 or in phase 3 because in Oklahoma phase 2 are people who have other conditions and lower immunity system and I am one of those so I don't know yet but anyway until I'm going to start uh, to get my vaccine I'm going to be very 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 careful and I guess that that should be for all of us let me just a second because I wanted to show you how good Finnegan is doing now just for a little bit and then we get back to clay and jewelry and other things and there you go Okay, so and for people who don't know Finnegan, that's why a lot of people ask me how old is he because he still looks like a kitten, but he is a minuet cat. They used to also be called Napoleon cats and they are uh, a breed that was created by breeding uh, doll face Persians. That means the Persians with regular nose, not the pug nose. Uh, with munchkins and they the breed was created to look like kittens even when they are adults and they are a little bit smaller than regular cats Finnegan as tiny as he is because he's right now I forgot when did I, I think Thursday either Thursday or yesterday I weighed him and he was 7.6 pounds and he's a male so uh, he's towards the upper end he's big so yeah uh, but they are also called the little dogs of the cat world because they have a lot of doggish uh, behavior they follow their owner and they fetch and they have recall and all that so and that's a really cool thing now let's get back to clay so uh, what I have been uh, looking at for the new year um, tomorrow we are going to do that uh, uh, poinsettia uh, tutorial because I just owe you that I didn't manage to do it in time because of Finnegan and that surgery of his was not uh, planned I wasn't planning on having him her have surgery hoping until this year so we just got the surgery done because he got plugged again and when I took him to the vet uh, the surgeon who was supposed to do this surgery scheduled the surgery with she wasn't there but they talked to her on the phone and she she was supposed to come a uh, Monday and she said that she could come that afternoon to do the surgery so he wouldn't have to be catheterized and then come back for a surgery and go through all that pain and I said okay let's do it but uh, anyway so everything that I had planned for before Christmas because of everything that happened in November and December I couldn't do I still owe you the um, uh, poinsettias and I will still put up a couple of more Christmassy things uh, but we are going to start uh, looking forward towards uh, Valentine's Day and uh, give me just a second to give you the 
the link. If you go on my channel and you go on playlists, there is one that is Valentine's Day projects. Give me just a second, and I shall give you the link to that playlist. So you can have a lot of uh, ideas from that. And then I have a whole bunch of other stuff, but as I said, I have to take it uh, to pace myself. <laughs> Because even if the other problems stopped, my health problems didn't stop. And remember, when I first opened the channel, I said I'm going to work for as long as I can because all my issues are degenerative. So slowly, slowly, I'm not going to be able to do it. But I still can do stuff. I just have to pace myself and I need to clean the house. <laughs> That's the, the deal. But I am, uh, as I said, I found a pretty good uh, stimulant. And uh, that helps me with the fatigue because I had to kind of put a pause on all the tests that I was supposed to be doing uh, because of the pandemic. I also didn't get any shots in my spine or in that area on my back or in, my, in the base of my thumbs. Normally every s September I would get shots in the base of the thumbs. So my level of pain can get a little bit higher sometimes. It's not a very good thing. But anyway, um, hopefully I'll be able to get back to a normal... Uh, I'm not never going to get, no worry, I'll never be able to get back to the beginning of the channel to the 2017 when I was posting pretty much one new tutorial a day that's gone that's over <laughs> but at least to be able to do at least one a week besides the the live um, anyway what I was going to to talk about is the jewelry trends for uh, 2021 and I will show you, <coughs> excuse me, I will show you a few examples. Number one, and there are the not you, um. They are very unusual earrings, and I'll show you a few examples so we can talk about them. Pearls and chains are still leftovers, actually, since from 2019. But uh, as you can see, and you can wear them in one or two, or mismatch them. But what I found very interesting, you see that there's a combination of, on the same um, uh, string, you have different shapes and colors. Pearls are still there. Uh, shells are still there. They kind of went back in 20, I mean, they weren't there in 2020, but they were there in 2019. The, um, um, how the, What's the name of this? I'm just having a brain fart. It's those tart uh, candy for Halloween. I forgot them. But it's they aren't really Heishi beads because they are a little bit too thick to be Heishi beads. But anyway, pearls as you can see. And then they are uh, coins. And another thing is charms, but uh, if you do a, um, a search on jewelry trends, don't go for things like Harper Bazaar and stuff. I mean, you kind of have to, to think about stuff that everyday woman will uh, wear. And here they are calling them big orbs, and that's a jingle bell all day long. Um, 
but anyway uh, talking about that especially considering the combination of shapes I hope to be able to create for you a few nice um, examples of jewelry uh, that you can make and you can combine and that would be good if you make a, a, a ton of different beads and then you can combine them and put them together and create something I think that uh, that's a really good thing especially for the ones of you who do um, a sale not so much at venues because there are not many sales at venues anymore but you know and as I showed uh, this will be I'm going to ho try and do it for this afternoon finish the tutorial for these for this afternoon they are little snowflake and they are on uh, translucent and then I'm going to have uh, at least a couple more and um, what I'm going to do first uh, will be a um, if I can I'll do a new year piece but what I want to do is a, a parallel a comparison between the new Primo colors and the new Cernit metallics and generally Primo me metallics per lesson Cernit metallics per lesson I'm going to try to to create the same piece one of them done in Primo the other one done in Cernit one thing that I noted though and um, I mean seriously was uh, very disturbing to me is uh, that there seems to be a shortage of Primo I don't know if you noticed. Uh, Scalpy.com still has it. Has most of it. Uh, we had, uh, like in, I think it was November, end of October, beginning of November, something like that. We had a shortage of white Primo. Then uh, we had a shortage of black Primo. <coughs> I'm not sure if it still is. Let me look on Amazon. I was, um, I could see on Amazon the price of polymer clay skyrocketed. Seriously, really bad. Where's my clay? Where is my clay? I cannot find my clay. Okay. There we go. <coughs> but I noticed some of my friends were saying that they could not find uh, Primo Black. Well, I could not find Primo Black either. And uh, if I remember right, it wasn't even on uh, Sculpey. What is it, baby? Waddle, waddle. He's got a funny walk because he's a minuet and he waddles when he walks. Yeah, um... Trish, I need to contact Trish and see what's going on because she seems to not have any Primo. So, uh, Trish still has some Fimo, but I cannot see any Primo or Souffle for that reason. So, I guess <coughs> Cernit might make a lot of sale for a while. Give me just a minute. So Trish still has a uh, female. But the, the Primo, she is almost completely out. I mean, uh, what can I, what I can see, she is completely out of uh, Primo. She's got some of the uh, some of the big ones still available but not all so she still has some beige but everything else is pretty much and she ha still has some silver but everything else is pretty much gone 
and uh, there's no sale. Let me see if she has souffle because I didn't buy souffle in a while. She still has some colors of souffle. A lot of them are out of stock. So I don't know what to tell you. I'm I'm thinking that it is very possible that the manufacturer um, got shortage of materials and shortage of workers and all that. As I said, Cernit seems to be doing pretty good and I do have a big, I still have a lot of Primo, but I usually try to do tutorials with uh, what people can find easily. So I think I'm going to do quite a number of tutorials with uh, Cernit and maybe even with Pardo and uh, Fimo because it's I don't want to put up tutorials using things that people cannot get hold of that is I mean yeah I can do a lot of work in progress stuff but I don't as I said I don't want people to get all um, upset and frustrated because I'm showing them how to do something and they cannot find the stuff that they need to do that something so yeah but one thing I can tell you, get yourself, and you're going to find it in my store in the, I think I put it in the coverables. Let me make sure. Uh, you will find marbles. I mean, if you have marbles from your kids, that's fine. But let me make sure that I put it in the... Oh, come on. Uh. Hold on. I need to remove part of this link. Let me check in coverables. And yeah, you want the regular... You can get a few that are uh, larger, but I've been looking for uh, good marbles. Yes, they are in the in the coverables, and you get twenty for five dollars. Because I'm going to show you how to do something using marbles, and you will love it. Yeah, everybody's staying home or and playing or doing. I might start doing other stuff. It's probably going to take me about a week to get back my house in shape. Because, as I said, I did not want to, to start the vacuum and all that. Because uh, Finnegan was getting very scared because of the cone. Uh, the first few days he would get snagged. And it would turn his whole body on the side. And then he would spook out and try to run and get snagged into something else. So I didn't want to, to scare them. And the other two, they were very upset too. Because you can imagine, I suddenly changed their litter to paper confetti. And then they got this little monster with this big cone on his head who was trying to come to them. It was so funny because he was walking like this, like he had this huge bonnet. And they were hissing at him. Now they are back to cuddling and everything, but they did not accept him with a cone. So I didn't want to add more to his stress. So you can imagine that for like, how much was it, like nine days, I did not vacuum the house at all. So I do need to to do some deep cleaning. I can tell you that it was the first. I didn't put up any kind of Christmas tree, Christmas decorations. I didn't put up anything. Never in my life. And I'm going to be 16 March. Never in my life did I have my house not deep cleaned for Christmas or for the New Year. So, But hopefully, as I said, that's going to be the worst that was for the new year to come and let's hope nothing else happens because I don't know about all of you but 2020 kind of sucked for me I mean I had some health issues then Whisper had health issues and I had to put him to sleep then when I was thinking that I'm going to be fine Finnegan started to have health issues as I said before uh, for people who don't know me and looking from the outside with everything that I've been going through in the last couple years 
you're saying this is impossible to have such a bad luck you're making things up no i'm not making things up shit happens <laughs> pardon my french so hopefully this won't happen anymore <laughs> And I'll be able to do again what I love because, uh, as I said, with the, this new stimulant that I found, uh, really helps me, well, not be awake and energetic the way that I used to be, but it gives me like uh, six or seven hours of energy. You know, I can do stuff finally. And my thing right now is to get back to my sleeping schedule because... Uh, while I had to take care of Finnegan, I would kind of sneak in three or four hours of sleep while he was sleeping and I had to follow him all over the house to make sure that he doesn't do uh, anything bad and I had to make sure he wasn't licking himself and all that. But uh, right now, if I wake up during the night to go to the bathroom, and when I go back to bed to try and go back to sleep, he thinks, oh no. You got out of bed, so now you have to sit out to get out of bed, and you cannot sleep anymore. So he wakes me up. He doesn't let me sleep. But anyway, I hope that we'll get back on a normal schedule. And this cat got so spoiled. I said he would, but we need to get back on a normal thing. So, uh, generally speaking, uh, another thing that I'm going to show you is, uh, I'm going to show you a few uh, do-it-yourself um, uh, textures, because a lot of people are getting right now, and I'm going to show you a lot of uh, some other things that you can do using just the stuff that's around in your house. Because of the fact that a lot of people right now, they don't... Uh, they are kind of suffering for lack of money and lack of this and lack of that and not being able to go out and uh, buy in a store and all that because it is more expensive to order stuff online on a lot of things and you if you cannot be there and choose and see what's there and everything hi Gail happy new year uh, so uh, I have that in plan too one thing I can tell you though um, what you want to get a few is uh, two or three uh, boxes of cos clay. If you don't know what cos clay is, it's a new rubber polymer clay. I mean, it's got some rubber in it too. But it is... Um, <coughs> it is uh, flexible. I mean... Even after you sculpt and you bake it and you whatever, it stays flexible. So uh, don't... Uh, I know that it is uh, $15 for a package. Let me get you the link to Cosclay, but... Uh, those are huge packages. I mean, those packages are pretty much a pound. They are not the several ounces. So, don't be... And it doesn't really matter what color you get. They have quite a bit of... Uh, I see that they don't have a lot of colors right now, but I did have a lot of uh, beige. And that's what I've been using for... Uh, not a lot of people get the beige beige. And that's what I've been using for making my own textures. But I want to show you how to make several kinds of textures and how to make stuff with those homemade textures. Of course, you can use bake and bend instead. But honestly, you get... Cos clay is better than bake and bend to do textures. Because remember, I showed you before how to do textures using bake and bend. But cos clay is really, I mean, you can kind of do it like this. And it's not, I mean, you can do spirals and straighten them up and they'll come back. They snap back. I mean, it's perfect for uh, 
textures and I actually even found I don't have it here but I found a, a thickness that you need to use if you want to use it uh, with a clay in the pasta machine kind of like a makings but uh, we'll get to that and I will show you how to do stuff okay so don't forget tomorrow is going to be the regular time for Sundays. I'm going to try and make up at one a later time um, for the lives that the live that uh, I missed the two lives that I missed. I, mi I missed two, right? Um, but right now I just have a lot of stuff to do around the house and that's gonna tire me, so I don't want to promise too much. Uh, but uh, tomorrow we will do the um, um, poinsettia using this it's a rose calyx cutter and I think I got this one from polyclay play but it should be in the cutters in my Amazon store as well now remember I keep saying my Amazon store it's not my Amazon store it's my Amazon influencer store. I just keep going pretty much at least once a week finding stuff for you to to get and I do get a few cents commission on every purchase you make which doesn't change your price <laughs> but um, it helps me with uh, keeping up with stuff. Let me make sure that I have it in the influencer store if not i'm going to have to add it yeah i don't think i have it i'm going to add it uh, and by the way if you've never gone to the to, to the cutters in my influencer store and i showed it before uh, there's some um, mousse uh, rings they are not really rings but they are let me let me actually show you because I've been I got them for a while and in the idea that we are going to do um not you we are going to do that but it didn't work so these are mousse rings and normally they are used to put to, to make cakes and mousses and stuff but as you can see this one is $17.99 but you get two of each of these and the rounds can be used for uh, larger wrist um, bracelets but everything else why i'm talking about essentially is about making boxes and as you can see there's a, a very nice uh, heart shaped one and then this is another set here uh, with plain rectangular ones and this is also something that I am going to uh, use uh, in the very near future to for all kinds of boxes so this is something you might want to look at and, uh, and get a, a little bit of a budget because you can do a lot of times with a lot of uh, things with repeated you know this is just a, a baking blank for you to use for various stuff from boxes to vases to all kinds of things I'm going to do another uh, baking blanks thing but anyway I'm starting to hurt we still the, the winter storm is now moving out we still have a little bit of barometer issues let me actually make sure and check but it should be i should be good and I, w I will see you all tomorrow when we make poinsettias i will show you how to cut them even without the cutters and how to do but i did before how to do without the cutters and if you look in the um, the holidays uh, playlist on my channel you can find several poinsettia they are uh, canes and there are several poinsettia things from 
Christmas ornaments to brooches and stuff. So we'll do some of this stuff tomorrow when it is because it's overdue from <laughs> last year. Okay, I shall see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful week, a wonderful weekend, and a wonderful, wonderful year. And let's hail, hope we get more, more happiness and more health and better stuff coming for us in 2021 than we had in 2020. Okay, love you all. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful Saturday.